Hi there, we're back with another updates video for Microsoft Teams. These are our update picks that are rolling out to everyone within June and July, so let's take a look at what's new. First up is the chat with self feature. The idea of this new feature is for you to be able to send yourself things that you can then later look back on, whether that is a loop component that you want to work on yourself or a document that you need to come back to later. You can simply go to the create message button and write your own name in and begin the chat with yourself. This feature should be accessible for everyone by the end of June. Our second update of the day is the new iPad multitasking panel. This will be a collapsible panel on the right hand side of the screen whilst a meeting is in action. You'll be able to use the chat function and a participant count on the new right hand panel. This update will also be available from the end of June. A new question type is coming our way. Our third update is rating on polls. This new rating question type allows you to get feedback from the participants during the meeting. You can choose the question and then the attendees can then choose a number between 1 and 10 to rate the question asked. The results from this question can also be shared live on the meeting too. This update will be available towards the end of July. Our next update is the new Teams meeting ID. This is for the desktop app, mobile app and web version of Teams. This update allows you to join a scheduled meeting for a meeting ID, much like how you would through a Zoom meeting. Within the meeting invitation, attendees will receive an invitation that will now include an ID and a passcode, which you'll be able to see when you open the meeting request in your emails. There will also be a new button on the Teams calendar that will allow participants to join this way also, as well on the mobile app soon too. There will also be a public web page where anyone with the ID and passcode can then join too. This should be available for everyone at the end of July. Our fifth update is the new chat bubbles for iOS and Android. These are new second long previews of the most recent messages which will appear on the meeting stage whilst on your mobile device. These can be temporarily turned off with the snooze button on the top right hand corner or permanently turned off with within the ellipsis where it says don't show chat bubbles. This update should be available by the end of June. Our last but definitely not least update is a new collaborative annotation. This is powered by Microsoft Whiteboard and it allows participants to collaborate and annotate through a design or presentation being shared during a Teams meeting. Selecting start annotation during the meeting then allows annotations to be made. The outline of the shared screen will then turn blue and the participants will see the Microsoft Whiteboard toolset at the top of the shared screen. Automatically, everyone will then be able to annotate with the red pen, but the presenter can go into the settings and change whether everyone can annotate, or just them, as well as collaborative cursors so you're able to see who is annotating what. This is a great new feature that allows you and your team to collaborate in real time during meetings. This should also be rolling out by the end of June as well. So that concludes our video for the day. We hope you're excited as us to see these new updates roll out. And don't forget to subscribe for more tips, tricks and industry updates.